Every business today faces similar challenges. Innovation, competition, risk management, regulation. These challenges are pervasive and companies have to respond quickly or else they're not going to thrive. This is a book about companies who are thriving using data virtualization to meet those business agility challenges. The book covers data virtualization adoption at 10 enterprises from both the business and IT perspectives. For business people, it really describes some successes and the problems that are solved and how that's done more quickly and with fewer resources. For IT, it's all about best practices and technical approaches that were used in order to achieve business agility success. The business impact of data virtualization has been substantial. At the New York Stock Exchange, they were able to provide aligned information across 14 exchanges so they could do a better job servicing their customers. Uh, at the Northern Trust, time to solution for new outsourcing customers was improved by 50% and that increased the client satisfaction and also revenue. What happened in the past? What's happening now? What's going to happen in the future? These are all important business decision agility questions that companies must face. For example, it takes over 10 years to create a new drug and there's tens of thousands of decisions that must be made along the way as the research results and the clinical trials come in. At Pfizer, they use data virtualization to pull all of that information together and rapidly respond as they get new information. This enables them to have the complete actionable information they need in order to bring drugs to market and successfully bring revenue to Pfizer but also help the community who can use the drugs. When a business wants to enter a new market, launch a new product, or change a business process, time to solution is critical. If they don't move fast, the competition may get there ahead of them. So how does data virtualization help? It provides a streamlined, rapid, iterative approach to new IT development projects, which gets that information to the business and gets that solution up faster. And in that way, they can respond more quickly to those competitive threats. Northern Trust is an example. I talked about them a moment ago about how they were able to get new customers up faster and increase their revenue. In many enterprises, IT cost is one of the largest expenditures. Data virtualization can really help. There's lower infrastructure costs and superior development productivity when using data virtualization. Take Qualcomm, for example. In their first five data virtualization projects, they were able to save over $2.2 million. At the New York Stock Exchange, the first project yielded a $4.5 million savings annually. All 10 enterprises we profiled in the book were experienced data virtualization users, some for as long as six years. They had a lot of insights to provide in terms of best practices. For example, they all said, start with very focused projects and then expand. They said, have a centralized team, because it was important to build that domain knowledge and expertise. Tuning and performance was a critical consideration, but then as Mark Morgan from Qualcomm says, when do you not have to consider performance when you're doing a project in IT? And finally, they advised, use an experienced vendor. That's kind of a commercial for us, because we have great technology. But it's also important because we have domain knowledge that we can bring to bear, the things that we've learned from other customers that we've supported throughout the years. And we, had, and we have written the book on data virtualization. The message is simple. If you want to achieve business agility, you need to go beyond traditional data integration approaches and try data virtualization. Ten enterprises profiled in the book and hundreds of others have gained that success. You can too.